Hi, Daniel with DanielParsonsMinistry.com. Today's Life Journal Bible reading plan is for the 2nd of May. And in the Old Testament, we'll read 1 Chronicles chapter 16 and Psalms 106. And in the New Testament, we'll read Matthew chapter 19. And 1 Chronicles 16, the New King James Version says, The ark placed in the tabernacle. So they brought the ark of God and set it in the midst of the tabernacle that David had erected for it. And then they offered burnt offerings and peace offerings before God. And when David had finished offering the burnt offerings and the peace offerings, he blessed the people in the name of the Lord. Then he distributed it to every one of Israel, both man and woman, to every one a loaf of bread, a piece of meat, and a cake of raisins. And he appointed some of the Levites to minister before the ark of the Lord, to commemorate, to thank, and to praise the Lord God of Israel. Asaph the chief, and next to him Zechariah, then Jael, Shimeramoth, Jehiel, Mathithiah, Eli, Beniah, and Obed-Edom. Jael was stringed in instruments and harps, but Asaph made music with cymbals. Beniah and Jahaziel, the priest, regularly blew the trumpets before the Ark of the Covenant of God. David's Song of Thanksgiving. On that day, David first delivered this psalm into the hand of Asaph and his brethren to thank the Lord. O oh, give thanks to the Lord. Call upon his name. Make known his deeds among the people. Sing to him. Sing psalms to him. Talk of all his wondrous works. Glory in his holy name. Let the hearts of those rejoice who seek the Lord. Seek the Lord in his strength. Seek his face evermore. Remember his marvelous works, which he has done, his wonders and the judgments of his mouth. O seed of Israel, his servant, you children of Jacob, his chosen ones. He is the Lord our God. His judgments are in all the earth. Remember his covenant forever. The word which he commanded for a thousand generations, the covenant which he made with Abraham, and his oath to Isaac, and confirmed it to Jacob for a statute, to Israel for an everlasting covenant, saying, To you I will give the land of Canaan as the allotment of your inheritance, when you were few in number, indeed very few, and strangers in it, when they went from one nation to another, and from one kingdom to another people. He permitted no man to do them wrong. Yes, he rebuked kings for all their sakes, saying, Do not touch my anointed ones, and do my prophets no harm. Sing to the Lord, all the earth. Proclaim the good news of his salvation from day to day. Declare his glory among the nations, his wonders among all peoples. For the Lord is great and greatly to be praised. He is also to be feared above all gods, for all the gods of the peoples are idols. But the Lord made the heavens, honor and majesty are before him, strength and gladness are in his place. Give to the Lord, O families of the peoples, give to the Lord glory and strength, give to the Lord the glory due his name, bring an offering and come before him, O worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness, tremble before him all the earth. The world also is firmly established, it shall not be moved. Let the heavens rejoice and let the earth be glad, and let them say among the nations, the Lord reigns. Let the sea roar in all its fullness. Let the field rejoice in all that is in it. Then the trees of the wood shall rejoice before the Lord, for he is coming to judge the earth. Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. And say, save us, O God of our salvation. Gather us together and deliver us from the Gentiles to give thanks to your holy name, to triumph in your praise. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel from everlasting to everlasting. And all the people said, Amen, and praised the Lord. Regular worship maintained. So he left Asaph and his brothers there before the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord to minister before the Ark regularly as every day's work required. And Obed-Edom with his 68 brethren, including Obed-Edom, the son of Jaduthun, and Hosha to be gatekeepers, and Sadok the priest, and his brethren, the priests, before the tabernacle of the Lord at the high place that was at Gibeon, to offer burnt offerings to the Lord on the altar of burnt offering regularly, morning and evening, and to do according to all that is written in the law of the Lord, which he commanded Israel, and with 
them Heman and Jeduthun and the rest who were chosen, who were designated by name to give thanks to the Lord, because his mercy endures forever. And with them Heman and Jeduthun to sound aloud with trumpets and cymbals and the musical instruments of God. Now the sons of Jeduthun were gatekeepers. And all the people departed, every man to his house, and David returned to bless his house. So now, pull up Psalms 106, and as I do, we go through the Old Testament one time in the year, and the New Testament two times in the year. And so, Psalms 106, 106, joy and forgiveness of Israel's sins, praise the Lord. O oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. Who can utter the mighty acts of the Lord? Who can declare all his praise? Blessed are those who keep justice, and he who does righteousness at all times. Remember me, O oh Lord, with the favor you have toward your people. O oh, visit me with your salvation, that I may see the benefit of your chosen ones, that I may rejoice in the gladness of your nation, that I may glory with your inheritance. We have sinned with our fathers. We have committed iniquity. We have done wickedly. Our fathers in Egypt did not understand your wonders. They did not remember the multitude of your mercies, but rebelled by the sea, the Red Sea. Nevertheless, he saved them for his name's sake, that he might make his mighty power known. He rebuked the Red Sea also, and it dried up. So he led them through the depths as through the wilderness, he saved them from the hand of him who hated them and redeemed them from the hand of the enemy. The waters covered their enemies. There was not one of them left. Then they believed his words. They sang his praise. They soon forgot his works. They did not wait for his counsel, but lusted exceedingly in the wilderness and tested God in the desert. And he gave them their requests, but sent leanness into their soul. When they envied Moses in the camp, and Aaron, the saint of the Lord, the earth opened up and swallowed Dathan and covered the faction of Abiram. A fire was kindled in their company. The flame burned up the wicked. They made a calf in Horeb and worshiped the molded image. Thus they changed their glory into the image of an ox and eats grass. They forgot God, their savior, who had done great things in Egypt, wondrous works in the land of Ham awesome things by the Red Sea. Therefore he said that he would destroy them, had not Moses his chosen one stood before him in the breach to turn away his wrath, lest he destroy them. Then they despised the pleasant land. They did not believe his word, but complained in their tents and did not heed the voice of the Lord. Therefore he raised his hand in an oath against them to overthrow them in the wilderness, to overthrow their descendants among the nations and to scatter them in the lands. They joined themselves also to Baal of Peor, and ate sacrifices made to the dead. Thus they provoked him to anger with their deeds, and the plague broke out among them. Then Phineas stood up and intervened, and the plague was stopped, and that was accounted to him for righteousness to all generations forevermore. They angered him also at the waters of strife, so that it went ill with Moses on account of them, because they rebelled against his spirit, so that he spoke rashly with his lips. They did not destroy the peoples concerning whom the Lord had commanded them, but they mingled with the Gentiles and learned their works. They served their idols, which became a snare to them. They even sacrificed their sons and their daughters to demons and shed innocent blood, the blood of their sons and daughters, whom they sacrificed to the idols of Canaan. And the land was polluted with blood, thus they were defiled by their own works, and played the harlot by their own deeds. Therefore the wrath of the Lord was kindled against his people, so that he abhorred his own inheritance. And he gave them into the hand of the Gentiles, and those who hated them ruled over them. Their enemies also oppressed them, and they were brought into subjection under their hand. Many times he delivered them they rebelled in their counsel and were brought low for their iniquity. Nevertheless, he regarded their affliction when he heard their cry. And for their sake, he remembered his covenant and relented according to the multitude of his mercies. He also made them to be pitied by all those who carried them away captive. Save us, O Lord God, O Lord our God, and gather us from among the Gentiles to give thanks to your holy name, to triumph in your praise, 
Blessed be the Lord God of Israel from everlasting to everlasting. And let all the people say, Amen. Praise the Lord. And so now I'll pull up the New Testament passage, which is Matthew chapter 19. And as I do, we've got hundreds of uh, spiritual messages on DanielParsonsMinistry.com. And um, we've also got hundreds of really healthy recipes. Um, and so um, yummy, delicious uh, vegan recipes on DanielParsonsMinistry.com. So Matthew chapter 19, marriage and divorce. Now it came to pass when Jesus had finished these sayings that he departed from Galilee, he came to the region of Judea beyond the Jordan and great multitudes followed him and he healed them there. The Pharisees also came to him, testing him and saying to him, is it lawful for a man to divorce his wife for just any reason? And he answered and said to them, have you not read that he who made them at the beginning made them male and female and said, for this reason, a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife. and Two shall become one flesh. So then they are no longer two, but one flesh. Therefore, what God has joined together, let not man separate. They said to him, why then did Moses command to give us a certificate of divorce and to put her away? He said to them, Moses, because of the hardness of your hearts, permitted you to divorce your wives, but from the beginning it was not so. And I say to you, whoever divorces his wife, except for sexual immorality and marries another, commits adultery. And whoever marries her who is divorced commits adultery. His disciples said to him, if such is the case of the man with his wife, it is better not to marry. Jesus teaches on celibacy, but he said to them, all cannot accept this saying, but only those to whom it has been given. For there are eunuchs who are born thus from their mother's womb, and there are eunuchs who are made eunuchs by men, and there are eunuchs who have made themselves eunuchs for the kingdom of heaven's sake. He who is able to accept it, let him accept it. Jesus blesses little children. And little children were brought to him that he might put his hands on them and pray, but the disciples rebuked them. Jesus said, let the little children come to me, and do not forbid them, for of such is the kingdom of heaven. And he laid his hands on them and departed from there. Jesus counsels the rich young ruler. Now behold, one came and said to him, Good teacher, what good thing shall I do that I may have eternal life? So he said to him, Why do you call me good? No one is good but one, that is God. But if you want to enter into life, keep the commandments. He said to him, Which ones? Jesus said, You shall not murder. You shall not commit adultery. You shall not steal. You shall not bear false witness. Honor your father and your mother, and you shall love your neighbor as yourself. The young man said to him, All these things I have kept from my youth, what do I still lack? Jesus said to him, If you want to go be perfect, go sell what you have, and give to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven, and come follow me. But when the young man heard that saying, he went away sorrowful, for he had great possessions. With God, all things are possible. Then Jesus said to his disciples, Assuredly, I say to you that it is hard for a rich man to enter the kingdom of heaven. And again, I say to you, it is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter the kingdom of God. When his disciples heard it, they were greatly astonished, saying, Who then can be saved? But Jesus looked at them and said to them, With man this is impossible. With God, all things are possible. Then Peter answered and said to him, See, we have left all and followed you. Therefore, what shall we have? So Jesus said to them, Assuredly, I say to you that in the regeneration, when a son of man sits on the throne of his glory, you who have followed me will also sit on twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. And everyone who has left houses or brothers or sisters or father or mother or wife or children or lands, for my name's sake, shall receive a hundredfold, inherit and inherit eternal life. But many who are first will be last, and the last first. So that's the end of today's Bible reading, my friend. I hope to see you on the Life Journal plan tomorrow. Bye for now.